Hi, my name's Amanda, an A&E paramedic and director of Adopt an AD, and today I'm going to talk to you about how pneumonia is caused. According to our World in Data organisation, 2.56 million people worldwide died from pneumonia in 2017. Almost a third of all victims were younger children than five years old and is a leading cause of death for children under five. A lot of people are intrigued as to why this virus causes pneumonia. Understanding it is the first step in fighting it, so to understand this we need to look at the lungs. Everyone is born with two lungs unless we have a genetic disposition. Each lung has separate sections called lobes. And as we breathe, air passes in and out freely through our trachea or windpipe, then through our bronchi and bronchioles, and then through to the alveoli, air sacs. Your airways and alveoli are smooth muscle, and when you inhale, each air sac expands and inflates, and when you exhale, it contracts and deflates. Your alveoli are surrounded by small capillaries, Oxygen from the air we breathe in passes into the capillaries and carbon dioxide from the blood passes out of the capillaries into the alveoli so our lungs can get rid of the carbon dioxide when we breathe out. Airways tend to catch most germs in the mucus that lines the trachea, the bronchi and bronchioles. In a healthy body, hair-like cilia lines our tubes constantly, pushing the mucus and germs out of our airways by coughing. Normally, cells of the immune system attack viruses and germs that make it past the mucous cilia and into the alveoli. However, if your immune system is weakened, the virus can overwhelm the immune cells and the bronchioles and alveoli can become inflamed as your immune system attacks and fights the multiplying viruses. When the body fights an infection, it sends white blood cells to the infected and inflamed cells and while this will help fight the virus, it can also make it harder for the lungs to pass oxygen into the bloodstream. The inflammation can cause the alveoli to fill with fluid and it's this that makes it even more difficult for the body to get oxygen when it needs it. During this entire process, people can develop a variety of symptoms. Some are mild, some are severe, pneumonia being the worst. Pneumonia can develop in one lobe of the lungs referred to as lobar pneumonia or various areas in both lungs known as bronchopneumonia. Some people with mild pneumonia can manage the condition at home. People with underlying health problems have a high risk of being seriously unwell and may need to be admitted into hospital. As you can see it's a serious and potentially life-threatening condition. I hope this has helped your understanding and hope everyone stays safe in these difficult times. So just to summarise, pneumonia is the buildup of fluid within the air sacs or the alveoli at the bottom of our lungs which makes it even more difficult to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide which can make it very difficult for people to breathe. I hope this has helped your understanding and hope everyone stays safe in these difficult times. Please click below on the links and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. If you have any questions, please feel free to check out our frequently asked questions or alternatively contact us directly at www.adoptanaed.co.uk and we will be happy to assist in any way we can. On behalf of Adopt an AED, adopt, register, respond.